Hey guys, it's Meme and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Beanie's here. And our other trusty Bye, sidekick. Hi hey, y'all. Shannon's in the background. Are we good? Are we everybody here? Everybody can hear us? We had to do the old hard reset to fix those microphones. <laughs> you know what a hard reset is? It's hard to do. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it a hard reset. <laughs> Welcome in, and I have made you wait long enough. As the thumbnail says, you have been patient and waited long enough. Today, I'm going to bring to you a version of this folio. The reason I didn't love this folio is I thought it just didn't hold enough. It's so small, okay? But in playing around, I discovered something that we could do to give us some more room. Is that the one that you used the 6 by 6 on? This is not the one we talked about last week. That scared me so bad. This is not the one we talked about last week. This, because I'm going to be doing one that is, this is, I want to do one that is six by six, okay? This is not. This is more of a brag book, okay? Let me show you the cool, the cool way it works. So, also, before I get started, I want to say this to you. Please, please, please watch the after show. Even if you watch it later, there are some big changes coming to our schedule. There's some big information coming. There's some name changes that are happening. There's some stuff. There's so much going on that I want to tell you about. So please watch the after show. It's very important that you do because I don't want you to miss anything in the future. Okay, this is that beautiful Cartabella just velvet paper, you know, the pretty one. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut this page in half at six. Tim, if I did not get you these measurements ahead of time, I apologize. Cutting this in half at six. Okay, so now I have two pieces, six by 12. Put one piece aside. Now take one of your six by 12s and cut it in half. This is the easiest thing you've ever done. It's even easier, I think, than our other folio, but the reason for that is this one gives you more space for ease. I gotta put my theater mode on my watch because it will make y'all crazy. It'll keep flashing. And then you're gonna go to your scoreboard. To your scoreboard now. These two pieces get scored exactly the same, okay? We're going to score them in three places. You're going to score it one and three-fourths, four and three-fourths, and five. And you're going to do that to both, just like we do with the big boy folios, okay? Because this is your baby one. Say it, uh, Shannon. It's your baby. This is a baby. She always has, baby. She has a baby voice. It's cute. All right. One and three-fourths, four and three-fourths, five. Then on your piece you have left, I want you to score this at three, six, and nine. Three, six, nine. Three, six, and nine. Like that. I got it wet. It'll dry. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and accordion fold this. Okay. So this is, in a, this is a place I break my rule. This is a place I break my scoring rule. I'm just going to accordion fold and not worry about my score mark as much. You know which way I'm doing it. And there's our accordion. Now, because I haven't seen it done, I'm going to do it. My, um, my template that I did, my template version of this, like I practiced it just with some cream paper. I did not corner around anything, but I want to corner around because I want to see what it looks like. So I'm going to put this in my quarter of an inch because this guy's little. And I know on camera, let me move this. I know on camera it might look big just because it just kind of does, but it's a little guy quarter of an inch and I'm going to do this on my other pieces before I assemble. So this accordion, we'll put that aside. Let's go back to these guys. Let's round corners. And I'm going to go ahead and fold this one and crease it. And I'm going to round it so everything kind of matches. Okay, so there's that one. And I'm going to do the very same on this one. Um, we're gonna, I don't have to, I don't have to, um, corner around this because it's a connector piece and I'm trying to decide, I do need to corner around this one. I have to think where it's going to lay out and if you just let me do it, you'll see. So I am going to corner around this one. All right, let's, let's attach. Oh, I missed a score line. Let me do the the little one, the quarter of an inch one. There we go. And this one. Okay. 
Wow, I missed two on this one. I didn't do either one of those. Did I do that one either? I didn't. I thought, yes, I did. So I only, I only missed one. All right. Now, because I corner rounded this one, this is going to be my closing flap. And because I didn't corner round this one, this is going to be that goes the one that goes here. But are you noticing that this is corner rounded and this is corner rounded where my fingers are here? I think because of that, I'm going to fold my uh, gusset all the way in and corner round here. Or is that right? It might be here that I need to. Let's just corner round it both. It can't hurt anything. Let's just see what happens. Let me do it, and if I mess it up, you don't have to do it. Isn't that the rule? Is that what I want to do? I think I do. I don't know. Maybe I over corner rounded. I might have done one too many on this. We'll see. This is what happens when I bring y'all an idea before I've tried it. <laughs> it just gives you that fly. weirdness. Just gives you that weirdness, <laughs> but that's okay. We can probably, I have an idea what we'll do there. All right, let's put some glue. We're putting this together just like the big boy. Are y'all seeing how it's looking like the big one? Just like the big guy. Please remember, the camera adds 10 pounds to glue. I'm not using 10 pounds. It's just going to look like it, especially when I'm putting it on black. It looks like a lot of glue. It's not that much glue. Now, when you put this together, you're going to leave your gusset open and put this to that first fold. And what's really cool is we'll be able to line up our corner round mark we did. And you want to make sure you don't cover your score line. See how freely that goes? That's what you want it to do. Then just close that down into the glue. And here's what I think I'll do. Since I have that weird little thing that I don't really love, I think I can just snip it with my scissors off. I think that'll look kind of good, actually. Yeah, that's kind of good. It kind of sinks in. I kind of like that. There we go. All right. So there's our first assembly part. Now, the next thing I want to do, and I'm going to show you this on my sample. I want to show you what we're going to create because the black will get kind of dark on camera. So look, when I here's my flap. I open it up, and I open up the first page. You recognize this pocket, just like the big boy, it's the same pocket. But I want you to see here, look, this is an accordion piece that's going to come out. That's that piece we did, right? And I want you to see that I'm going to install it as a pocket. That's what we're fixing to do, but I want it to make sense. Because I do like to have the two pockets in the folio. And instead of putting the pocket here and just installing one piece, which is what we do in the big guy, we're going to do it like this. So I'm hoping that'll help this part make sense to be able to see it in the lighter color. So here's what you do. You take this flap on the middle and you're going to put glue on one side, the other side, and all the way down the bottom, making that pocket. So three sides, okay? Then what I'm going to do, decide how I want it to lay, really doesn't matter. I'm going to put this here and I'm going to meet these guys together. I'm going to kind of stand that up and meet it. And then like I always do, I want to do a little pinch because I want that pocket to open. And now I'll just flip this over and make sure we get good and sealed. <laughs> Hurry up, almost bedtime in the Netherlands. <laughs> That's cute. All right, so now I've put in that, it's and now bedtime here. it y'all are yawning. It feels like it. Y'all just ate lunch. Now you're sleepy. Now I'm going to make a pocket out of this one and put it here. Y'all, I just made this in less. I just built this little folio in seven minutes. Seven or eight, pretty quick. Like it's one sheet of twelve by twelve. Look. Now the only and I want to show you why I did this. Okay. The reason you want your accordion piece to live on the top. Um, oh, I did it wrong. <laughs> Don't do what I did there. I did do that wrong. Let me show you the good one. I glued it on wrong. Let me show y'all. This is how I should have glued it. I should have opened the accordion up and glued it like this. I messed up my glue on that one. But you see what I'm saying? So it's going to go just a sheet. Maybe just open it up and do it like that, and then you won't mess up instead of the way I did it. You can see what I did that was wrong. It really won't matter. It just makes my accordion do like this now, which is still kind of cool. That is actually, that's kind of cool, actually. I kind of like it. It looks like a little book. But anyway, you want your accordion. Happy mistake. Happy mistake. Well, you need your accordion to live to this side of the attachment flap because the gusset, the space, is on that side. Do you see? If you try to put, if you try to glue this piece on this side, you don't have any gusset there. 
it puts it under the pocket and that's not what you want. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Let's, let's put a magnet on. Let's put a magnet on. All right, ask questions. Did it make sense? I wanna make sure it made sense. And then I'm gonna show you, I'm not going to um, do it, so I'm gonna show you how you get your measurements. My pokey tool is a, is a the moose? Well, I thought I had it, but that's not it. I thought that was it, but. I put it back over there. Like recently? Um, well, we cleaned up yesterday. I made sure it was over there. I, I just may not see it. Or it might have been a different one you put over here. Sure. I could have swore it was this one, but it's not. She might have handed, she handed me the wrong thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was trying to teach Jasmine stuff. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's take a, these are the basic gray magnets, which are my fave magnets. A lot of you guys are making these with Velcro, perfect, that works. A lot of you are making it with belly bands, perfect, that also works. Here's what I wanna remind you, especially with this little guy, cause we built him up pretty good. When you put this on, square him up. Let me show you what I mean. If I, if I do this, do you see how he's not square? That's not what we want, push him over and make him square, as square as you can get him, because we did put some bulk in there. So what I'm gonna do is put this side down here first. Peel this off. I have to be honest, I feel like with the addition of the um, accordion fold in there, this will better suit a belly man or a large magnet. I think the little magnet, when you put pictures on that belly, on that accordion piece, it's probably really gonna need more of a, a belly band situation because I think it's gonna get a little bit chubby. So, okay, okay. there it is. Let's open it. Let's put it over here and let's go. Page one, it opens like this. This guy comes out like this. And now you have, this is the one that has a dongle. <laughs> <laughs> but if you go to the other one, I'll close it up before I bring it over so we can look at it the same way. If you go to this one, it opens like this. It has page one, and then it opens all the way out. It doesn't have a dongle. A dongle? Yeah, no dongle. So there you go, your mini folio. You were asking for it. I really think these need a belly man because it's already chubby. See that, it's already chubby. When you put your pretties in here, Although there's room for it, I just think that unless you're using the bigger magnet, which you really don't have a lot of room for the bigger magnet because by the time you glue paper on top, I think these lean to a belly band. Or if not a belly band, I've seen a lot of people um, glue. I can show y'all later. I, won't, I don't want to confuse you, but well, let me just show you something. I got time because we did it quick. Let me just show you. Sorry. You just laughed at me. So, Ben. Ben. Love you, Ben. Uh, Natalie, the um, picture perfect stamp set should be back in next week. I got notification today that uh, there will be ready to ship first part of next week. All right, so I've got a um, piece of black from Ben, just a scrap. I did it two inches by one and three fourths. And what I'm going to do is fold this in half on the one and three fourths side. So we need to score it at seven eighths. Oh, y'all love me for that. Scored at seven eighths, or do you? <laughs> or do you? So I folded it in half, so it's two inches tall, seven eighths wide now. Then I want you to take your punch. I'm gonna take a stub punch. I think I'll do the scallop. I think the scallop will be cute. Then we'll put it in here and scallop punch, like so. We're just making a tab. I've taught you how to make these tabs before. See that, so then when you open up, it looks like this. Then what you do is before you, before you install it, take your crop dial you might want to make a mark because I'll be all over the place if I don't. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to eyeball me a mark about here. And I'm going to put a hole there. This is quick eyeballing. This is working on the fly, y'all. So you see what I've done? I've got that hole. You can come over here to, let's do it on the other one so you can really see it. You can come over here to this guy and you can glue this on like this, let's glue it. I'm gonna put glue on both sides of my tab. 
Then all you want to do is make sure you don't overlap your hole. Just install this. You can measure if you want. I'm probably not centered. I'm not looking. But you just want to make sure you don't overlap your hole. And then what you do is you have a place to put a string here, add it here as well, and then you can tie them together. Or you can just put string in here and wrap it around. You know what I'm saying? But it gives you a way to close this even differently. What I would do is put like some decorator strip here or something with a with a with the string coming out from underneath and then have a string here and then tie a bow. So see how quick you can make that little closure? And this closure will work on the big folios too. And remember, I cut the page at two inches, but I could cut it at three, four, whatever. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so I could have a big long closure and I could have a wider closure. Maybe you wanted it to be wider. You see? So that, I mean, let me show you wider and bigger because I got time and I want you to understand it. I'm not even going to, well, I am going to trim it down um, width wise. Let's do it at two inches wide. Let's do that. Again, scrap bin, scrap bin. All right, I'm going to score this in half at seven eighths. It's not always seven eighths. No, mine isn't. I cut it at two. I'm going to score it in half at one. Okay. I think the large magnet will fit, but you're not going to be able to cover it with paper because, you know, you want the paper to glue around. So let's say you did this and you did the same thing on the ends like this. Isn't this cool? Now, I wouldn't put it on this one. You could. Look at this. That was a six inch scrap. You could totally put it here and have that string. But like if you wanted this on your big folio, there's one. Do you know how many um, photos? The little folio will hold. We can kind of guess. But look, if you wanted it on the big one, wouldn't that be cool? And then have a hole? It, I just, it, this is probably way longer. I'd probably make mine about like that or something. But I just wanted to show you that. I think that's a neat way, a different way to be able to close them. Oh, and you can even make it longer. Whatever. You see, if you know how to do it, now you know, right? All right, how many will this hold? Let's talk about it. All right. You can put um, doohickey in here. Slider, doohickey. Why do I take my a folio? A doohickey out? slide? We I call it a doohickey now. I you took can put my a folio out. You can put a, a slide, a doohickey slider in here. That'll hold two. Okay. A hickey do. Depending on the size of your photo, if I were doing this one, I would probably do. Let me find my ruler. Y'all see it? Is it looking at us? Yes, here it is. Because this is six inches, I'd probably do like two by two photos, so I could get two here, and then I could get. Two here, two here, so wait, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen with a doohickey, eighteen here. Does that make sense? If you did two by two photos, which I call Instagram photos, like it's a great way to go to your little Instagram or your Facebook and like print those photos out that you like to post. If you like them enough to put them on your Instagram, you'll like them enough to put them in a folio. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, I'm saying. Or you can do any size you want. You know what I'm saying? As long as it fits three by six. No regrets. No regrets. <laughs> so funny. So with that addition, it holds a lot. And I got to tell y'all, we had a visitor today. Everybody keeps asking me how to get more photos in here. We had a visitor today that made this big boy folio and put a waterfall right here. I mean, that's... When you're doing this, I want you to think about all the things you know about a mini album. You can expand this in any way you want. You can add flaps. You can add, you know, when you put your picture down, just make it a folded in half piece or just add a little tab and make it a flap. You can do that. You can make it flap like this. You could add an accordion that pops like I just showed you the other one we did. You could add an accordion. You could do that waterfall. You could add a, a sheet that closes like a gatefold. I mean, you can do so much. You've got the space. Just be mindful that your gusset lives on this side, okay? The way we built it, our gusset lives over here. So the more bulk we put over here, the more round your folio will get. Not the end of the world. Just got to change your closure. But the rounder it gets over here, okay? Because your give is in this quarter of an inch. Does that make sense? Somebody tell me if that makes sense. See, your, your space is in the front here. So what you might want to do is turn this this way, put your waterfall here, glue this where the pocket's in the back, okay? Put your waterfall here and then turn this over. So then all of your weight goes where there's space for it. Yeah, they're so cool. They really are cool. They're, you, and they're, what a sweet couple that was that visited today. 
Very sweet. From you, Birmingham. You totally could grommet, um, where I put it? It'd be really cute to add a grommet to this. Not necessary, not necessary, because you got double double cardstock here, but a grommet would be really cute right through here. Really cute. We have tutorials for waterfalls, matter of fact. Um, I'll tell you what would be good in there is the pool waterfall. Wouldn't that be cute in there? And it's easy. You know, the Tamitha, we did a waterfall card that had a, it was a pool waterfall. It was on the front of the card. I don't remember the video, but that would be a cool one to do because you pulled the bottom and the waterfall opened and closed. That would be cute. The tool I use to punch the tab, this is our stub and scallop punch. We have these in store, by the way. These are, you can get these at maymaymadeit.com. If you're a club member, use your discount, get you 15% off. Um, you can use the angle to make it if you want to have the large or small angle punch. You can do the same thing with your rent with your corner rounders. You can also use. Let me find Shannon's favorite punch. She's probably got it on her desk. I don't. You hit it. No, I haven't worked yeah. over there in a while. We haven't crafted in a while, have we? We've been folioed. No. You could also use any corner rounder, but these are Shannon's favorites because they're, well, you can't see they're them. They're cutesy. Because they're like that. Wouldn't that be cute? Decorative. Let's see what that looks like. Before I say you can do it, I think you can do it. I'm a guessing. Put these guys back. Okay. I'm just going to fold this in half and see what it does. Tamitha posted a link for the Warfall pool card. Look for video. questions because I, I I want them to understand. I want this to be confusing. April Ooh. says she knows which one you're talking about. She made it for her grandmother. Ah, this guy doesn't like two. This punch don't like two pieces of card. Well, it could just be full. I don't think so though. Let's try it again. Not sure that this one wants two pieces. Nope. And I'm going to end up messing mine up. You this one, punch. Probably. No, I won't. I'll show you what this looks like. It's really pretty. Make sure I didn't mess it up. No, see, it works through one. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you could do, do the same thing. Just don't have them connected and then just glue them back together. It would still work. All righty. We seem to be having some technical issues. It said the screen went black and some say we're buffering. Well, the good news is we're done. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> the good news is we are done. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to finish up this video. You guys, I want to see those folios. I want to see those tiny ones especially. Show me what you're making and how you're doing it. What did I say? I need you, need you, need you to come to the after show. If, even if you're watching later, please be sure to watch the after show. There is a lot happening. We had a big really, meeting this really, week. Really big news. Really, it's really big news. Big! And I don't want you to miss anything. I want you to be able to catch all of it. So I want you to come to the after show. So we're going to get the after show link in here for you. This is not This is not me just like, please go watch the after show. This really is me telling you that you're going to want to know the information I'm going to share in that show. Um, you will be so lost. You will be lost if you don't come with us. If you don't come to the show. Oh, the tiny folio. Here's the black one, here's the white one, and here's the inspiration. This is the, the very same thing, but one piece, one six by six piece here, instead of keeping it together and letting it extend. All right, there's the link to the after show. So we will see you there. We'll see you there.